Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. It's day 33, and I'm still sitting here in my room with all the lights off, with the curtains closed. My only light source is my monitor shining on my face, with one hand on my mouse, back hunched like a cave troll, making subtle clicks here and there, capturing slimes and involving them into three stars for astrogems. But seriously though, that's that's actually what I've been doing for the past day or so. I, as you can see, I have much much more astro gems than yesterday, and that is actually because I spent a little bit of money. Um, thirty, thirty, well not thirty, twenty-seven U.S. dollars to be exact. I bought the the gem packs and I converted all the gold into astro gems. Now these six star gems basically are garbage. Like they're they're complete trash. Um, they don't give you anything good. I actually sold all three of them. But the, the good thing is, like, it, you, you can actually get a pretty good chance to open one that may, might have, like, three or four um, substats. Although some of them I opened only had, like, one substat. But the, the ones that had, like, four substats, even if they're really, really shitty, the good thing about them is you can sell them for a little bit of gold. And that gold can pay for your astro chips and your refills, basically. So, um, you know, it kind of pays for itself. And the only thing you have to invest to turn the gold into astrogems is actual real time. You don't have to invest any more gold or astrogems. If you think of everything as, as convertible, then um, you don't have to you don't have to invest anything else. But the the you know the time still has to be spent for for sliming. So I basically spent all of well I didn't spend all of yesterday, but I spent a lot of time yesterday just sliming like crazy, and. I have 4,000 4, astrogems now. Um, if I convert all this into astrogems, I should have 4,700 astrogems, yes. And I'm very, very close. I'm actually pretty close to the 6,000 astrogem. My 6,000 astrogem gold before the 10th. I still have four days left. And I will be able to, um, if I make it to Heroes 3, I will be able to get 700 astrogems. If I, I think it's 700, right? All right, yeah. I just need a hundred more points, and I'll have I'll be in Heroes Three, and I'll be able to get three seven hundred astrogens on Sunday, which basically this will be like five thousand plus the seven plus the uh, plus the five hundred will be five thousand five hundred. So I only need to farm five hundred more. If I really needed astrogens, I can also go to Tower of Chaos. The Tower of Chaos floors do have a little bit of astrogens as well. Uh, this one's got a hundred. I think. The top floor has 300. So if I complete Tower of Chaos, I will be able to get 400 Astrogens before the 10th. So it shouldn't be too hard. I actually, um, and then, like, technically I only have to farm 100 more if I count the arena plus this. Oh wait, I forgot to count Clan Battles. I should be able to get at least 100 from Clan Battles. So, basically if I convert all this into Astrogens, I'm completely done with the, with Astrogen farming for the Light Succubus pack. Um... Which actually kind of got me hopeful. I was thinking maybe if I go hard enough, I might be able to make enough astrogems to um, to also participate in the Heroes Festival. I'm just that greedy, all right. I'm just I'm just that goddamn greedy. Um, but I I actually might make it because I think I have a pretty good chance because the Heroes Festival should be in the middle of the month, which should be the 15th, meaning that I have exactly nine more days to farm um, farm all those astrogems. Given that it starts in the 15th, and maybe it might last two days, so I might have, like, you know, possibly 11 days to farm. And I should be able to make 2,500 astrogems in 11 days of hardcore grinding, sliming, and, yes, and astrogem farming. <laughs> oh my god, this game is too hard. Holy shit. I, I... I really don't know. Um, I think I have a little bit of room to to use a little bit of my gold um, to do some summonings for you guys. I don't really think I need to do, do the summonings now, but I might as well since um, you know it's just for fun, and I I, I I am I am here to make some entertainment as well. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon and I'm going to um, do some rebirths. I think that'll be pretty nice. Oh man, life is too hard. Oh, I got another variant Cupid. What is this? What?
Things, this thing's got a 32% leader skill, which is like better than my... Better than my current one on my Dark Cupid, I think. I think. I'm not, I'm not too sure. It might only have 31, the one I, I currently have. Yeah, it only has 31. I could get 1% more HP. Could be worth it. I'll, I'll wait. I'll, I'll just keep him for now. Maybe in the future I'll feed it for, th for the 32% leader skill. Hmm, what? Oh, nice. I got another Victoria. Alright, that's one less fusion I have to do. Exactly what I need. The legendary egg is from the event, and um, I see a lot of people actually upgrading gems for the event. You don't need to do upgrade one star gems, you just need to slime. If you slime, you get a lot of gems. Every single monster you catch gets you one point, and every um, monster you don't catch gets you two points. So even if you catch all your slimes, if you convert like, I don't know, like 5-6 million um, gold into astrogens, you should be done with the event. I'm actually getting quite a lot of uh, fusion stuff, including that Victoria, because that Victoria basically means I, I don't have to do a fusion. Which is truly a blessing. Ooh, I got another variant Leo. Now what am I going to do with a second variant Leo? That is quite interesting. Wait, what's his percent skill? It might be pretty high. Summoning variants left and right, what is this? And 33 is not bad. I think my, my current one has 34 though. Oh no, my, my current one only has 32. I could- oh no, I'm, I'm definitely raising this one. This one's got three square slots. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna feed the other one into it. Or- or I could just wait and save a few more Leos and then eventually feed this into like a- I don't know. An evil three Leo. Like Fire Leo, for example, if I ever- if I ever want to raise one in the future. I think Fire Leo is definitely pretty good. He's, he's one of the best uh, Fire Nukers. It's definitely not bad. Um, hmm, what is all this lightning and variant? I think my my light dark luck has turned into variant luck. Like I, I'm getting li variants left and right now. It's pretty crazy. It's all part of the ritual. The new variant ritual is to is the slime. If I, if I look really, really white right now, it's actually because my light is seriously off. Like, it's just been sitting in this dark room, sliming for hours, non-stop. Alright, last egg. Nice, it's a wood bath. Let's see what I can get from this legendary. Hope it's something good. I don't even know what I need. I need a wild thing. That's that's actually what I need. Alright, I got a Loki. Loki's pretty nice. So that is actually quite a lot of lightning today. Um now. Now our Now what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm doing some rebirths. I'm kind of out of it right now. You know, I... I actually kind of... wanna... use the hunters for rebirth. I'm no longer interested in building another light hunter. But I still need to do the rebirth for the event. And also I might have a very, very slight chance to get like one more light Victoria, so... That's also something.
do I'm gonna do four rebirths. Four rebirths will be exactly enough. To complete my event for today, and then we'll do some dice rolls. Don't need a monkey, don't need a Fibian, don't need this monkey. I don't know what slots these bets have. I actually want to check check them out. If they have mostly squares, I'm gonna keep them. I'm gonna start keeping like mostly square bets. Alright, this one has more squares. But then again, wood bets are easier to get. Can I see his slots like this? This one's got double square too. I need a I need a bunch of like triple square bets. Yeah, like this one's not really useful, but then I can't I can't really use the bets. I can't use the wood bets. So I'm just gonna feed that water one and one hunter away. Sounds like a plan. The thing about um, raising the bets with a square slot, I actually someone asked me in a, in a previous video why square slot, like what's this? What's with the the whole square slot thing? Like why do you want so many square slots on your monsters? It's just that um, if you're farming for astro gems, you're mostly farming B8, so most of my gems, like my good gems, are actually square. It's much much easier to get square good square gems. So monsters with more square slot are are more ideal. Wait, did I do... Did I not do enough rebirths? Alright, time to grab some hunters out. That should be enough. Here we go. This is a, this is a, full, a full hunter rebirth. Let's see what I get. Nope, no lightning. I'm awfully close to, to 30 though. It's actually not bad. All right, let's uh, let's do let's do my rolls. I should have two hundred points now. Yes, that is perfect. All right, come on, give me some astro gems so I can farm less. Oh god, it's a four to six star chest. It's gonna give me a four, like four star, um, one substat gem that sells for barely anything. Hmm, Dragon Sigil is quite nice. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Um, I can't do Dragon until tomorrow because I ungenned my Dark Gatito. And I'm currently still in the middle of farming. And, um, you know, after tomorrow, is, there's going to be a gem re removal day. So what I can do is I can rem I can remove the gems once, which will cost money. Um, and then after Dragon Day ends, gem removal will start. And then I can remove the gems off of the Dark Etito and give them back to my Mona. Because I need to borrow some gems from my Mona to, um, to make his crit rate 100%. Because I don't have any, I, I can't afford to spend any money to upgrade gems right now. I, I need to spend all my money to um, to slime. So there's there's that problem. Well, we might as well do one random battle in the arena, and I think that'll be it for for today. Um, I'm gonna start making some other random videos, like um, guide videos, maybe for for certain monsters, like how to gem videos. To, to kind of help out newer players. Um, you know, I, I've just been farming B8 a lot. Oh my god, what is this? Full light. This guy doesn't do too much damage. Um, kill Thor in two turns. Alright, sounds like a plan. Nice. Tried to shock me, didn't you? Alright, it's Dark Sora. Oh, this guy does a lot of damage. I hope this is enough. Yeah, alright, it's enough. Um, I guess we'll kill the Victoria. She doesn't have any sort of sustain. That is so much damage. I've actually been using this team to, to do most of my arena battles. 
it's relatively, uh, well not relatively, but like, pretty reliable. It's really reliable. Okay, um, I'm in Heroes 2 now. Oh, my defense actually works pretty well. Like I, I've been actually able to get a few victories ever since switching to this defense. It's basically just uh, full aggression. Like I don't, I don't worry about anything. My gems are shit, but whatever. It's just, it's just a lot of aggression. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty good. I'll, I'll be able to. I will be able to um, get to Heroes Three, probably by the end of today. And then I'll just remain there, stay there until reset, and I will be able to get 700 Astro Gems. So that is pretty much it for this video. Um, got some nice summons, got some nice... Wait, I can't say there were nice rolls. I forgot to open my, my boxes. See if, there are, see if there are any good. We'll start with a 4 star one. It's going to be a 4 star gem with 1 substat. Alright, a 5 star with five, 4 substats is actually pretty good. I can sell that for a, for a bit of gold. Yeah, like this doesn't sell for too much. This this is only a uh, one substat. I wonder what sells for more though. Whoa, wait, wait, let me let me compare the two prices. Let me just sell this. If I were to sell this, it would be twenty four k. But if I were to sell, where's the other one? If I were to sell this, yeah, this actually sells for less. So. A four substat five star gem actually sells for more than a than a um, one substat six star gem. Also got some rewards to click at the bottom of the of this event. But that's pretty much it. I'll I'll do that in my own time. But thank you guys so much for watching. And um, yeah, wait 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 wait. We got another. We have another box. Let's see how much this one sells for. Alright, this is a 3 sub stat gem, um, 6 star, so this actually sells for a bit. What, what does it have? Yeah, it's, it has pretty shitty sub stats. And this one's only 22k. So a 5 star gem with 4 subs. It's all. it's actually more about the sub stats. The more sub stats, it actually sells for a lot more. It's quite interesting. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.